In Arizona, a person being killed by a rattlesnake is very rare, but dogs are another story. They have no idea what a rattlesnake is and they'll run right up to it, sometimes being bitten and often killed as a result. But it doesn't have to be this way. In addition to using leashes, rattlesnake avoidance training is a great way to teach a dog that rattlesnakes are nothing to play with. Everybody in Arizona that has a dog needs to know about this. Hey everyone, me and my little boy Yuma. He's gonna get trained to stay away from rattlesnakes by Rattlesnake Ready, a company we use all the time. I always recommend people go get their dogs trained with them. I just have not done it myself yet. So I'm headed there now to go get him trained and I'm excited to see how it all works. How you doing? Yeah, how are you? I'm Marissa. Cody. Come on, Bubba. Like that. So before I try not to scare him right off the bat. So you can kind of walk him around, let him sniff some fish. Okay. We'll sniff some stuff. You know, the first snake is going to be right by that boulder right there. I'm just going to basically put it there. It's a little Mojave rattlesnake. Okay. It mostly just sits right where I put him. Okay. That's the thing too is we've had the same snakes for years. They're pretty oh, used cool. to this. He'll okay. probably just sit there, but he'll rattle when he gets close. Okay. Gotta get you trained up, my little boy. Not, not always, uh, no, okay. yeah, good boy. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Danger. Good boy. You know. Looking back at it. That's a good sign right there. Good boy. Good job, Yuma. Try and get him to like sit, stay right there. Yuma, sit, stay. Yuma, come. Good job, buddy. Good job. Good, good right. boy. Good boy. Okay. He's already like not a fan of it, and it's a lot like a little kid touching a hot stove sort of lesson. Yeah. You kind of learn everything you need to know on that first he, encounter. He, and you don't know if you saw it, he initially jumped and then kind of yeah. Yeah, well, I'm glad but, he uh, did because he I go right through it though. You see, so that makes me happy because yeah. I've tried to do it on my own, and he didn't. I don't know. He didn't. It didn't click. So. Yeah. All right, people, what is up? And I'm headed to a call for a snake in a courtyard. He called a couple minutes ago and said that he had lost sight of the snake. We'll see what's going on. So where was he seen originally? So he was right. You can actually almost see his- Yeah, his party. little print right there. He was there for, I don't know, 45 minutes or so. Yeah. How long ago would you say you lost track of him? Okay, gotcha. Oh, there he is. <laughs> yeah, you're safe exactly where you are, actually. Yeah. yeah, get a picture. Go for it. All right, people. We got our friend right here. Uh, I'm glad we were able to find him. Originally, I thought that I was going to put him in there. But there's also a hole there, and a hole there, and there's lots of rodent activity. All right. Good stuff. There you go. Into that rodent nest, rodent hole, whatever you want to call it. That means my job here is done. It's so cool. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, boy. You're just gonna see me lightly like, squeeze the skin with distilled water, just kind of reactivates some odor on it okay. for training purposes, kind of enhances it. At ground level, there's always you know wind going somewhere. Yeah. So right now the dust is blowing this way. If you can get him to kind of come around down here, he should catch wind of it and go up to it from this direction. Come on, Yumi. Good boy, Yuma. Put the skin right in the center, so I wasn't sure what angle he'd end up coming from. Like, the right, but I'm not there. And watch his body language. You'll see his mouth shot when he catches wind of it. Not a whole lot of wind right now. Right there, he's catching wind of it. He just walked away on his own. You may not even have that going up to it. Okay. Feel free to walk right by it. You can even step right over it. Dang, he follows me. He follows me everywhere. Yeah, that's the benefit to letting him sniff the real snake. That's true. So I, I 
caught him catching wind of it in the spot of the yeah. same where the wind's blowing and then he left the area. So try again just to make sure you can just step right over it again and follow him as you go. He should end up going around. Bams. Good boy. Good boy, you. Save yourself a zap, buddy. Good boy. You could be thinking, that kind of smells like what zapped me over there. I'm not going to mess with it. That's what's going on right now. So speakers right there. Um, what we're going to do, what I was saying, this step's different. I'm going to play a loud recording of a rattlesnake to help okay. sell it better. If yeah. you act afraid and back away from the two, for this step, it's it's appropriate. I just walk by the area. If he's too far away, I'm going to hold off. If he's right where I want him, I'm going to go ahead and play it. But basically, right when you hear rattling, yell, leave it, and then back away. Okay. It's going to help sell it better to him. Dreams. Oh Here we go. Leave it. Good boy. Good boy, good job. Good job, you. You. What's up with the little tail wag? <laughs> Got a little adrenaline going. <laughs> it's like, what is this place? Just, um, right as he was passing by, I played it, and as soon as we play it, we correct him too. So he should have thought, oh. oh, that sound just heard. We oh, you did. Oh, okay. Again. Gotcha. So that's what got him to really run away. Okay. Plus, he heard the first snake rattle. That's not the first time he's hearing it. That's reinforcing from yeah. the first one. All right, now we show him the big guy. And uh, if all went well, he should stay back from it. Hey everybody, Jeff here. I'm headed out to Awatuki right now to go get a baby rattlesnake, I think, from a house. What? No sense of kill. Right this right here. There you go, come around. Come around. Oh uh, yeah, okay. Ooh, I don't even know how you get them out of there. Yeah, probably just coax it out. Is this your first one? No. no. Oh, we've had a couple years ago. Never get bit? No, I've never been bit, no. Here. Let's uh, block that little thing here. <laughs> Makes me realize i got to plug that up. Yeah, the, any little hiding spot like that. We have dogs, okay. so we got to bait. No, totally understand. I just need to get it to kind of decide to bail here. There we go. There oh, now he's going back. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, he's probably born this year. There you go. Are they dangerous that small? Uh, yeah, I mean, they're, uh, they're still rattlesnakes. Uh, there's myths that they're more dangerous than the adults, and those aren't true necessarily. But uh, yeah, they're still rattlesnakes, and they can still envenomate you. So. <laughs> Okay, so I got a nice deep cave so we can have a little bit better start on life. There we go. Oh, it knows exactly where to go. <laughs> nice. All right, well, that was easy enough. Nice quick call. Customer made it easy, rattlesnake made it easy. Those little slam dunk calls are pretty nice sometimes. You're just walking this way. Oh, okay. You just to try to get him to walk that way. Range to notice. Okay. He'll, he'll probably notice it. It's a lot bigger than the first one. Okay. All right, there. All right, so let me get a little farther, and then I'll have you act like you're leaving. Let's go home, you means. Let's go home. It is. Good boy. It is. Good boy. Did you nick him? I did nick him, but after the fact. I have to wait until they know it's there before okay. I can do it. <laughs> And that's actually why I like putting it there. They're kind of scatterbrained from all oh, the other yeah. scares that sometimes they're just like, oh good, thank God we're leaving and they're not paying He's attention. Like and like squat down or? Yeah, and then just call him. He should go way around the snake. You come, 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 come. A little more room. There you go, good boy. Good boy. And I think you'll see him get even more room. Good boy, you mean. That's not my birth. Good boy. Good boy. That's good. And then just, just call him. He should go way off to the side here. All right, Yuma, come. Come. There we go, good boy. Good boy. Tiptoeing. Good him. boy. Good boy, good job, Yuma. The way I like to end it is yeah. if you leash him, I'll get it to rattle, and you guys just rush out the side gate over there. Okay. So go ahead and leash him. All right, here we go. Oh, let's go. Leave it, leave it.
so you uh, say come do a refresher every yeah, two Yeah, so I mean the, the first first initial training lays the foundation. That's the most important, obviously. We do the whole four-step thing, kind of bombard them a little bit, yeah. and uh, that's usually what gets it down, honestly, for life for some dogs, and yeah. for most, at least for years. You just want to make sure that's true by testing them. Yeah. Um, and that can that can kind of happen two ways. Organically is one way, where if you're out on a hike or walk, all of a sudden they yeah. bump into one. If he does great and avoids it, that's like a free follow-up right there, and we tell all our customers that. Nice. It's even better because you got to see it work. Yeah. Um, and then uh, if you don't see any for you know several months, um, it'd be a good idea just to make sure he remembers it. Yeah. There's always one or two knuckleheads that we got to reinforce it, but yeah. most remember it well. And yeah. I, don't, I don't even have to zap them usually. So hopefully next time he comes back, if you do decide to do a follow-up, yeah. we just put the big snake out. He sees it, it says, no, thank you. And that's it. It's a good visit. Yeah. Oh boy, you ready to go home? You did good, you Hey, good job, Yuma. There you go. Smile. He gets a diploma. Can try to get that in front of him. Diploma. All right, so one thing we can't communicate enough is that I actually started the business because I love rattlesnakes. The muzzle is what we feel is the best way to uh, be humane on the snake, but also as realistic as possible for the dogs. So it's a special medical tape. It's actually made for skin. So it's it's strong enough to stay on, but it's gentle enough that it comes off clean. Um, kind of like a band-aid comes off. And uh, they only wear it for the actual training. How so do you put it on? Uh, the sure short and honest answer is very carefully. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's a whole process, but it's, we don't, a lot of people think like you, you know, sedate them or refrigerate them. We don't do anything like that. It's just, just restrained. Yeah. So, uh, we have several diamondbacks that we rotate through. And so the stress is mitigated. You know, we only work about a day a week. And so that's why there's several here. And uh, yeah, they work about a full day. Um, we put them away. They get plenty of time to eat, drink, rest. And then uh, we'll use them again the following week. I would even argue that they're, I'm uh, not dumb enough to use the word tame, but they're close. They're, they're conditioned to the stress of this. Um, a lot of them, this one's kind of an exception rattling at us right now, but usually they're pretty relaxed. Uh, the ones you saw out there um, were only really rattling when we got real close. Other than that, they were pretty relaxed. But all to say, the muzzle's humane. Uh, we take great care of them. Uh, they're our employees, so you know, we gotta treat them really well. And these snakes, I can't stress how important they are too. Like just these eight here and these smaller ones, they have made an absolute huge difference in just keeping dogs safe. So these are very valuable animals to me and uh, we treat them uh, accordingly. So if you need your dog trained, come here to Rattlesnake Ready. My dog loved it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, me and my little boy, Yuma. He did such a good job, I'm so proud of him. I really am. He's getting so many treats when we get home. The whole process from start to finish was literally so well thought out. Rattlesnake ready that they're amazing company. Cody is such a good trainer. If you are on the fence about it, just do it. When I go hiking, I'm gonna feel so much better knowing that my dog's not gonna go up to a rattlesnake. Cause you saw it, he went right up to that thing. The first, before, you know, any of the training, he, if that had been a real situation, he would have gotten bit. So, and then after the initial, like, shock of the collar, he knew, I'm not gonna go close to that thing. It worked so well. Like, honestly, I was impressed, and I'm impressed by my little boy. All right, he did such a good job. Uh, that's exactly what I wanted. Go to Rattlesnake Ready. Get your dog trained. It is that extra little precaution that you can do to help protect your dog against rattlesnakes. Thank you so much, Cody, for showing me around and training my dog. Uh, it's definitely gonna make me feel better for years to come.